That damn disco was going to ruin me. I had a cash flow crisis, and my accountant said the only way to save my business was by selling up and moving to a cheaper house. Mr. Hall had sent the value of my house through the floor. I didn't know what to do. I, I did know that I, the last thing I wanted was to sit in a room with that man. So I made my excuses, but when it came to it, I, I couldn't just sit by not knowing how it was going. So I, I drove over and went and listened at the window. Mrs. Peacock's generosity never ceases to amaze me. I think she'll be the one amazed this guy. That Langford's a lot of money. I don't think she'll be able to afford it. Well, I suppose I knew what I had to do the moment I heard Plum say that Mrs. Peacock wouldn't be able to buy the land. There was only one way to save the village and my business. I sneaked inside and hid in the dining room. I was on the other side of the door when the rat was blackmailing Vivian. It just made it easier. When they'd gone, I, I went to listen at the study door. I was almost caught twice by Mrs. White when she went by and when my phone went off. After Mrs. Peacock went by, I waited for Hall to come out of the study. I got him to come into the dining room. I picked up the statuette, and then I... I... When he was dead, I, I left by the window. And then it was easy. I, I just wandered round to the front door. I would have got away with it. I should have. It's not fair.